This channel does not promote or encourage any illegal activities. All contents provided by this channel is meant for educational purpose only. So hello guys, welcome back to another video of our channel. And in this video, we'll be taking a look on how to find information disclosure, GS secrets, credentials from GS files automatically. And we are having a new announcement here as we are having our master class of bug bounty hunting also known as advanced bug bounty batch is out for enrollments again we are having around 40 to 45 days to enroll for it and we are going for live websites on this course not on recorded labs and all these things so definitely we are going to level up our skills and this course is for those who are focusing we want to level up their skills into bug bounty hunting we will be, we'll be completely live from choosing target exploiting and reporting on these live scenarios so make sure to take a look on all the contents and that was the content, let's get the video. So here we are on a computer screen now and let's take a look on the things that we are discussing. So technically JS files is a collection of multiple things that we are gonna explore in them. But in this particular video, I'll be sharing you how you can find information disclosure for it. And I don't know when this video is going to upload it, but after this video there will be a live uh, scheduled on YouTube which is completely focused on JS files and we'll be finding disclosures from it. So in this particular video, I will tell you how to automate the process of finding JS uh, secrets and all these things. But majorly, I would suggest you to go for manual approach when you're trying to explore the JS files. So basically, we are going here going to use few tools here. As I said, let me show you. We are going to use this for uh, these tools. Like currently, we are having JS secrets. We are also having JSF scan, JS scan by Xenos and nuclear templates. So all of these things are very good no doubts we can definitely jump on to them so we can try the j secrets on multiple things so here i have applied the j secrets on js files as i was having a lot of js files of rasta.com so i tried to use the js secrets on it and it is trying to find multiple disclosures from it like all the things it can find right apis and all those things so in short yes j secrets can work pretty good but on the other hand j secret is not that much accurate we still have to do multiple things by ourselves so on that particular note we definitely have to explore J secrets by our own. And on the other end, as I mentioned earlier, we definitely have to do JS recon manually. But if in case if you want to automate it or definitely go for um what do we say that we can definitely go for some sort of free time automation. So we can use all these tools one by one. Uh, in many cases I have found JF scan very important. In other cases I have found nuclear very working very well. So we can use things based on it. Now let's move to the next tool which is JSF scan. It is made by Kathan P19. Shout out to you. So in short, uh yeah, this tool is very uh more efficient than the yes and then the previous tool as it can forget the files, it can gather you know JS files by its own import file containing URLs. Definitely we can do that thing, obviously. And extracting endpoints. Now that's a very good thing that it can extend uh, or extract endpoints from js files because that can help us to bypass or access to many things that are not easily available also finding secrets from js file this is what we are going to do so that's the major point of it along with that getting js files stored locally for manual analysis as i said that yes we have to do manual uh, analysis of it and this it can store all the files then making a word list from files now that is a very good thing when you are having multiple internet admin portals or some sort of portals that you want to pen test or try to find some credentials then definitely it can give you a very good word list of things that you can use or to brute force and all these things even though you can get a good number of files too with it none extract variable names and all these things for possible accesses now as i mentioned already in the free giveaways that access automation will not work that much proficiently you have to do it manually then definitely one more thing for JS scan for DOM accesses, you can do that and generate HTML report for it. Now HTML report is a good uh, convenience for us to analyze things. So definitely this tool is gonna do a good thing. Not hard to install, simply go for the installation here and then boom, you are ready to go for it. Not a big deal. All right. Then third thing uh, by the Xenos or Xeno. A JS iPhone scan. Now this is also one more thing that can. Uh, this is designed to scrape JS files and extract URLs as well as information, as mentioned here. Right now, 
for this specific thing you have to use and modify regex if you want to and then this is simple usage of it right how it is going to work and how it is going to find all the information disclosed for it now let's move to the next thing which is nuclei templates so yes this thing is good nuclear templates can help you in a good way so in nuclear there's a location http then we are having exposures so in short what you can do is simple you can just go with nuclei iphone l js files and use your templates whatever a template location template location and then http slash exposure now this specific thing will help in a good manner now exposure scan is having around 430 templates now this specific thing can help in multiple ways if i'm not going wrong then yes it will it might take time it might get freezed but in the output you will get a lot of things like okay i found xyz key in that thing i found firebase details on it i have found this thing that thing so i don't know if i'm allowed to show here i might blur it but in one of my recent classes, like as I mentioned in the earlier, we were having advanced bug bounty course or the master course. And in that course, we do everything live. So on that particular course, we were trying to get some sort of data here. And I don't know if I can show this thing, but there's a lot of data that should not be there. A lot of API keys, API exploitation. And in the end, I was able to exploit them. And that led me to a good try. So this is what we actually need to use in many cases. So how I find that was very simple. It was uh, not that much complicated. So when I was not, uh, we are we are hunting on a program technically in the classes and just tried to do some sort of automations. Just told them, yeah, we can do this type of things. And when we're trying to do that things, I just mentioned that you can just uh, use these things. We are having more than twenty five thousand files. So made this thing, uh, made the nuclear thing on that. As I showed you, hyphen l the template locations. So I used three tools: nuclear templates, J secrets, JSF scan. I was using these three tools and all of them were having their own output but in that I found this one by Nuclei. The J secrets has also fetched it out. So that was a pretty good thing to get a good impact. And we have found a good bug. Without that much of hard work or, or, or that much of you know spending time on multiple files. Hard work should be there but not uh, in the manner of repetitive work. So definitely we can use automations for it. I think these tools are good and in the upcoming live I'll be showing you how to do JS Recon. So I guess that's it for the video. Don't forget to check out the link in the description and see you guys in the upcoming videos.